Right, hello everybody, Dan here, and I'm going to be doing my second player review for my channel so far. Um, last, My last player review was actually of Inform Honda, but today I wanted to do a review of Inform Athali, who was um, released in Team of the Week 39, which was, I think, two weeks ago, maybe around that sort of time. And um, Athali is um, a left winger, as you all can see, and you probably most likely know that he plays for Barcelona. Um, his inform was eight, went to an 84 rating from an 82, I believe, and um, he stayed in the left wing position. Um, I think his price on X, I brought my Athali for around 33,000 coins, but I think on PS3 he's around 38 to 41,000 coins. Um, if we just have a look at his card face stats here, we can see he's got 90 pace, 85 shooting, 80 passing, and 87 dribbling, which are his standout stats. So, you know, that pace should really be good for him getting past defenders and things like that, and 85 shooting really, you know, is really good for a winger, plus 80 passing and dribbling. Usually with a winger, you might just have somebody who has a lot of pace, but the shot isn't so good. But with Athalai, you actually get all of these stats to be quite high and consistent, which is pretty useful. Um, overall, I'm playing him in a left wing position in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Um, I've played around um, 10 to 15 matches uh, again, like I did with Honda with Athalai. And um, I've got a few goals that I'm going to show you guys. But first of all, I want to have a look at his in-game stats and show you them. So I will see you in the in-game stats mit. Okay, so we're now in the in-game stats uh, menu, and as you can see in the skill attributes, he's got um, 90 curve, 90 dribbling, 94 long shots, and 93 shot power. Um, there is also a few red stats here, as you can see, which are fairly low, which is a bit uh, of a concern. He's only got 39 marking, 45 heading accuracy, 31 slide tackle, that's not really a big issue because you don't really expect him to make many defensive moves, and 43 standing tackle. However, he does have a lot of stats that are sort of like mid-80s, going up to the high 80s, as you can see, his ball control's 88, free kick accuracy's 86, um... Short passing is pretty good at 86 as well, so, you know, he's always going to have good precision and things like that, I'd say, and 85 volleys, which is pretty decent. So, there is skill attributes. Now we'll move on to the player information. He's got both medium and def and uh, defensive work rates, which is pretty useful because he's not going to be, you know, that means that he's not always going to stick, uh, go up the field and stay there, but he's not going to go all the way back in defence, so when you're on the attack, he doesn't join it. So, medium is, I think, a good balance, in my opinion, to have for a left winger, um, maybe more more so for a midfielder, Who, but I was playing him in a left wing and he seemed to always be in the right place at the right time. Uh, as you can also see, he's right footed, so that's perfect for playing in a left wing role, so you can cut in and have a finesse shot or a drive at goal. And um, he's 5 foot 11, which is also a pretty good height because most wingers, I'd say, we associate as being small or most of them are quite small, which is uh, a bit annoying sometimes because they can't win headers so much as a striker would. But Athlai clearly can do that as he's 5 foot 11, which is pretty useful. You can also play him in, according to uh, his player information in centre mid, attacking mid, or centre forward. But personally, I'd just stick him left wing because of his pace. I think he'd be more useful at uh, you know outpacing defenders and things like that. Uh, if we move on to his physical attributes here, you can see these are pretty good as well. There's none higher than 92, but acceleration, sprint speed, and stamina are all in the 90s. And he's also got agility and jumping, uh, no, sorry, agility and reactions, which are 84 and 83. His strength is a bit of a concern at 59, and I did actually find this out when I was playing with him, but you know, we'll go on to that in a bit. Uh, and moving on to his mental attributes here, we can see he's got 45 aggression, so he's not going to be one of those players who kicks out and things like that, uh, more like a Rooney type player. Um, his attacking position is also quite quite low to be honest, You, I think you'd prefer that to be quite a bit higher than 72 for a winger because you want him to be in the right place at the right time as you do with any player. His interceptions are only 63 but that's not really a concern for an attacking player in my opinion. And his vision is 80 which is a good sort of base mark uh, stat for that. And now we're back to the skill attributes. So that's all for the in-game stats for Aphelite and the in-game information. We'll now move on to some gameplay. Right, guys. So now we're actually looking at the gameplay. I'll tell you a bit how I found him playing during the matches. Overall, I thought Aphelite was um, you know, a pretty good player to use online. Um, his pace definitely was something good to get past defenders. But I did find a lot of the time, I think this was highlighted by the fact he only had 59 strength. Um, that he um, 
you know, he, he easily got sort of pushed off the ball and shrugged off the ball quite a lot of the time. I found when we're going at like head to head with a defender, it's like some players can sort of, um, you know, dribble past them or take it past the defender. But with Afalai, sometimes I found him getting like knocked off the ball and running into a defender, which was a bit annoying. But um, they were the, like, that was the main negative that I found from playing with him, like out of everything. But you know, most things were pretty good. Like the, like I enjoyed the fact that he had four star skills and four star weak foot, because that allowed him to use his left foot as well as his right foot equally. When um, uh, well, nearly equally if he was a five star weak foot. But you know, he could still use his left, uh, his left foot nevertheless as well as his right. Uh, as you saw from that shot here, he's actually got a decent long shot. I think he has long shot trait as well. Um, don't quote me to it, but I think he does have long shot uh, trait on. And um, I think his long shots was also 93 in the in-game stats. So that's why he does have the ability to shoot from distance if you would like to shoot with him from that sort of range. I found him most useful cutting in against defenders and going around the outside and having a finesse shot. You know, that was a good thing about him. He could also drive the ball and score a lot of the time, but more often than not, I was finding um, he was best used for finessing past the keeper. Um, that was quite a nice goal there in off the post. You know, that was uh, pretty good. The keeper didn't really have much of a chance. Them sort of goals always uh, uh, keep the uh, goalie um, pretty confused. There you can see as well, a nice bit of skill from Afli, which was a bit annoying because the keeper saved it, but I capitalised on this when um, Emnez headed it back in, and you can see here, left-footed goal from Afli, nothing too special, but pretty good goal. Um, another thing I wanted to say about Afli was, he did work, work I did find his um, runs were sometimes a bit, um, I wouldn't say bad but about his card, but sometimes his runs weren't the best. I don't know whether that was to do with his attacking position, which probably would be right. They were quite low, if, um, if you remember from when we looked in the in-game stats. So sometimes I found when I was attacking that it was more like my striker and my right winger were moving into space rather than my left winger. Affleck actually cost me, like I said earlier as well, 33 grand. So I don't know if I would, um, uh, to be honest, guys, I don't know if I would spend 33 grand on him. I mean, an 84 rating isn't exactly that high, and 33 grand or around 30 grand now at this time in the market is still quite high for an informed player, if you know what I mean. And I don't know if he'd be worth all that coinage, especially on PS3 when it'd be more. Um, but overall, he was a pretty good player. I expected a bit more, which I didn't see, which was a bit unfortunate. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next.